bees can forage on average about two miles away from their hive, mm. but the closer they can find a resource, the better. So that way they're not burning the energy on the way there and back. Um, but in addition to just the distance from the hive, what they look for is clusters of flowers. So flowering trees like have hundreds and hundreds of flowers on one tree. And that's why you'll find those covered in honeybees because they can optimize going to the most flowers that are right next to each other and bringing that back to the hive. And when a few bees or one bee, they find a really good source like that, where it's a bunch of clusters of nectar rich flowers, they'll come back to the hive and communicate via a waggle dance to tell the other members of the hive where to go. And so they even let the, they'll have, say, have some nectar that they'll have the other bees sample as they're doing their waddle dance, that they know what they can get and where to go to get it. And then they'll send out more worker bees to that same location to really optimize any good sources that they find. And that's why that's one of the things when you're planting for pollinators to keep in mind that instead of planting, you know, one type of flower here, one type of flower there, that it's most beneficial to plant groups of the same flowers in different places because that's what they look for and because that helps optimize the nectar that they're able to bring in. Mm -hmm.